hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are giving you a drone tour of the southern coastal highway improvement project we are by the sun coast area where you have the sun coast sun coast adventure park and the sun coast beach club and we are going to give you a tour of the highway that's being built. The two lanes on the left are under construction while the two lanes on the right are finished. Now what we're looking at here is the existing road has been upgraded to four lanes. In a little bit we're going to fly on the other side and that's a new road that has been built. So this view here is the existing roadway that has been upgraded to four lanes. Now, if you remember the road, this was an awful road to drive to St. Thomas. But look at what is there now. This is a world-class highway. This is the kind of highway you find in a first world country. And it's not finished yet, but you can get the, you can get a very good idea of what it looks like. Or it's going to look like. So the goal is to open two lanes of this highway by the end of August, which is three weeks from now. And then they open all four lanes by the end of December. But from 10 to 12 miles Bull Bay back to Albion, the two lanes are finished. And this section that we are falls within that area. So this is going to be a four lane dual carriageway or a four lane highway from Harbourview to Port to from Harbourview to Yalos. And then from Yalos to Portland, it's two lanes. So from Harbourview to Yalos is 17 kilometers. And the entire highway from Harbourview to Portland is 140 kilometers. So that will give you an idea of how far the four lane road will stretch. But it's very nicely done and of course the contractor is China Harbor Engineering Company and they are, they are doing an excellent job. The project is delayed but outside of the delays the, the road is coming along. Now we're going to turn around and give you a tour of the other side now. Now from, from Harbourview to 10 to 12 miles Bull Bay, the highway runs along the existing roadway. So the two lanes are upgraded to four lanes. Then from 10 to 12 miles Bull Bay to the Sun Coast area, a new road has been built through the hill. And then from the Sun Coast area to Mesba Gardens, the road follows the existing roadway, meaning the existing road was upgraded to four lanes. So we're going to take a look at a new road that has been built through the hills. And I must say, this is a very nice highway. I used to think this was the nicest highway in Jamaica. But the other day we drove on the May Penta Mandeville leg of Highway 2000. We have the videos up, you can check out the... Well, I don't think we have any drone videos up yet, but check out Jamaica in 5 and driving in Jamaica. We have videos up of driving on that highway. It's, it's really something special. It's actually nicer than this highway. You guys should check it out. We'll put up some drone videos of it very soon. So this highway now is... Okay, we're coming up on this. It, everything is joined into one. So even though the existing roadway is upgraded and the new highway built through the hills, they join right here. There is a road on the right and that would be a side road, I should say, on the right. And that is where you find the, exist, the original main road. Right there on the right is the main road. So everything going forward now is the new road that was built through the hills. And you're going to see a development on the right as the Sun Coast Beach Club being built.
all right guys enjoy the rest of the tour remember to like share and subscribe and also leave your comments in the section below all right guys have a good day